Hello friends, welcome to our channel Kastor Classes and in this particular video I am going to discuss how you can uh, evaluate postfix expression in Python, okay? So for that we will be using stack data structure, okay? Already I have discussed stack data structure in Python in detail. There are two operations basically one is push another one is pop, okay? We have implemented stack using list which follows lifo or philo principle lifo means last in first out or first in last out principle so suppose i am having one input list like this first uh, this all the elements are in string 2 1 plus 3 star so this is post fix expression so if you write in original expression format that is in fix format what will happen 2 and 1 in between them plus is there right so this particular part is 2 plus 1, okay, then 3, then multiplication. So this multiplication is indicating it is in between 3 and the result of 2 plus 1, right? So actually my infix expression is 2 plus 1 into 3, which will result into 9, okay? So we will be giving one list, which will be having this kind of Postfix not notation expression, we have to evaluate that and we, we have to get the result. Okay. So, what we can do, try to understand it very carefully. Once we can rearrange this postfix expression into infix expression, we can use eval in Python to execute any expression. Any value we can get using eval, right? I have told you in string format, whatever you will pass through eval, it will evaluate that part, right? Now, how we can do? The algorithm is quite simple. Just listen to these three points very carefully. Start traversing from the input list from the left hand side. And while traversing, push the element in the stack if it is not an operator. That means if it is an operand, then put that or push that in stack, okay? That means if it is not plus, not minus, not multiplication, not division, that is not other or any operands, the, the, not any operator, then in that case, put that particular element, which is basically operand into the stack, okay? So start, start traversing C2, which is operand, not operator, right? So initially our stack is completely empty, we will apply push operation. So in uh, we will append to in our stack. So in, in two ways we can use indexing. Uh, if you use positive indexing, index position is zero. And if you use negative indexing, index position is minus one. Then next element is one, which is again one operand, not operator, okay? So what we will do, we will push that again in our stack. Push means append, right? We will add that element at the end. So 2 will be there as it is, 1 will be appended at the end. Now the indexing will be what? If you consider positive indexing, 0 will be indexed for 2, 1 will be indexed for this one. And if you consider negative indexing, this 1 is at the end of the list, so the index position is minus 1, and for this the index position is minus 2. Now, plus, this is what? This is one operator, okay? If operator comes while traversing, pop the two operands from the stack, and then evaluate the expression, okay? What? Listen it carefully. This is one operator. As soon as you will be getting one operator, pop the previous two elements from the stack, okay? So see, this is plus. So what we will do? First pop operation. Pop means I have told you, if L is our list which we are in which we are implementing stack, that is lifo or filo operation, we can apply simply write L dot pop minus one, to get the last element. Last inserted element will come out if we apply L dot pop minus one, right? The algorithm I have explained in my previous video how to implement stack using list. You can check the description link, okay? So A equal to L dot pop minus one. So A will be having the last inserted element and now in our stack, basically only two will be present which is having index zero for positive indexing, we can say, or for negative indexing, this is minus one. And what I have told you? Two operand has to be popped, right? Because to apply one operator, we require two operand at least. This is These are binary operators, like plus, minus, multiplication, division are binary operator. So we require at least two operand. So what we'll do, second time pop operation will apply and again B equal to L dot pop minus one, right? So what will be happening? In B, 
the value 2 will be stored and in A the value 1 is stored, right? Then all these are in still in string format, right? Because our list elements all are in string, all right? So we can simply apply concatenation to get the expression, okay? What we can do? See, actually 2, 1 and plus. These three strings are basically forming 2 plus 1. This particular part, which is again one string. So we can simply apply concatenation to get the expression. So G equal to B plus I plus A. So B means 2 plus I. I means what? I means this plus and A means this one. This particular plus here we are applying for concatenation, right? So basically our G is 2 plus 1, which is again a string. Now this string we can simply evaluate how? Eval of G. As soon as you write eval of G, you will be getting the value 3, okay? Which is an integer. But what we will do? You will convert that to string. You will type cast to string and again push that in your stack, okay? So what you will do? Push back the result after evaluating the expression and repeat till end, okay? See, we have pushed 3 in our uh, stack. So our uh, stack now contains only element 3, which is the evaluated version of the expression 2 plus 1. Now, next, 3 comes. So this is one operand. We will be pushing that or appending that in our list. So see what will happen. 3 is already present. One more 3 will come. So our new stack will look like this one, right? So 0. Uh, at 0th index, 3 is present. At 1st index, 3 is present. Or if you consider negative index thing, it is minus 1, it is minus 2. Then, again, what we are getting? Multiplication. So, as we are getting multiplication, so what is this? This is operator. So, we will pop previous two elements, okay? So, what will have happened? A equal to L dot pop minus 1. This particular 3, which entered at last, that will be popped. So, last in, first out, okay? And then, only 3, these 3 will be left. Again, we will apply pop operation. B equal to L dot pop minus 1. So, as a result, uh, we will have uh, 3 in B and 3 in A. Then, we can apply G equal to B plus I plus A, okay? That is 3 into 3 in the uh, string format. Again, we can apply eval. We will be getting 9, which is an integer. Then we should convert that to string and we will be putting that again or pushing that back to stack. Okay? So, three steps. While reading the expression from left to right, push the element in the stack if it is operand. Pop the two operands from the stack if the element is an operator and then evaluate the expression. Push back the result of the evaluation. Repeat till end. And see, after uh, the end, after the execution of the whole uh, traversal, uh, after the completion of the traversal of our input list, we are getting 9, which is basically the postfix evaluated result of this particular list, which is 2 into 1, uh, 2 plus 1 into 3, which is 9, right? So this is what the simple algorithm is. Now, let us directly go to code and uh, implement the same algorithm, okay? So see, this problem I am taking from lead code, problem number 150, evaluate reversed police notation, okay? Reverse police notation is nothing but postfix. Here you can click the link, it will open to Wikipedia and here you can see postfix notation, okay? This is 3, 4 plus, that means 3 plus 4, which is 7, right? Then, uh, what the question says, just read the problem statement once. Evaluate the value, value of an arithmetic expression in reverse Polish notation. Valid operators are plus, minus, multiplication and division. Each operand may be an integer or another expression. Note, division between two integers should truncate towards zero. That means always while dividing, you have to make towards zero. That is, you have to get only the integer part. That is kind of floor operation you have to implement. The given... RPN, that is reversed police notation expression is always valid. That means the expression would always evaluate to result if there will not be any divide by zero operation. Okay. Uh, the, so, no need to think about division by zero error. Okay. For example, 2, 1 plus 3 multiplication output is 9 because this particular postfix notation is nothing but 2 plus 1 into 3 which is 9. Right. Then next one, 4, 13. Uh, comma 5, then division, then plus. What it will result? 4 plus 13 by 5. 
which will result into 6, right? So, I hope you can understand it very easily. You can check the next example 3 also. So, uh, let us directly go to the code. Okay. So, what we can do? What I told you? First, traverse in our input list. So, for i in tokens. Okay. Then, if i equal to equal to either that is plus or i equal to equal to if that is minus or i equal to equal to suppose that is uh, multiplication or i equal to equal to if it is division right in this case these are nothing but operators what we will do we will pop we will use pop operation so a equal to l dot pop minus 1 but before doing l dot pop minus 1 we have not created any stack right empty list we have to create so here let me create one empty list and then b equal to l dot as i have told you in the uh, algorithm that we need to pop two times b equal to l dot pop minus one right then what we will do g equal to b plus i plus a okay i means the particular operator okay b plus i plus a okay then w equal to eval of g now we have evaluated now this is either in integer or float some numeric value but we have to take only integer part because division between two integers should always truncate to zero, right? And only division uh, may raise to some floating point uh, that is some decimal number. So we have to avoid that. So what we will do? D equal to int of w. We will convert that to integer part. That is, we will truncate the decimal part. That is points, uh, digits after the decimal. And then again, we will push that but where in our list so l dot append we can use append for pushing right but before pushing we have to convert that to string right i have told you else because here if you do not convert into string then that will be integer then next time when you will try to concatenate string cannot be concatenated with integer so you will be getting error else if i is not between this that means a i is not an operator it is an operand so simply push that so l dot append of what append our result is uh, i right so i now after execution the, of the whole uh, for loop in the l only one value will be stored which is our result but this will be in string so return int we will type cast to int l of 0 or you can write l of minus 1 also now let us run the code and check whether it is giving correct output for the sample test case or not. See for this particular sample test case output is 9, expected is also 9. Now let me submit this and check whether it is successfully applied on the all hidden test cases or not. Yes, see status is success. Okay, so this is very important uh, application of stack data structure. Remember just three steps while reading the expression from left to right push the element in this tag if it is operand, pop two operand from this tag if the element is an operator and then evaluate the expression and then push back the result of the evaluation and repeat till end. That's all. Okay. This is very important and frequently asked placement interview question. I hope you have understood this and see we are using eval here. Remember I told you that eval is used in competitive programming and it is very helpful. See how easily we can evaluate or get result of a particular expression which is in string format, right? So these kind of things are very important for placement uh, point of view. I hope you've understood this particular algorithm. Same code I am going to post in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. And don't forget to check my previous video where I have explained stack data structure uh, using list, okay? Because that is required for this particular Mm, video because we are using push and pop operation is in list only that is list we are using as stack right so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment if you have not subscribed our channel till now don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching